Hi everyone, I'm Rianne Salter, your QuickBooks Success Partner. In today's session, we're diving into the Sales Order Fulfillment Worksheet within QuickBooks Enterprise. Whether you're a current user looking to streamline your workflow or you're evaluating an upgrade to Platinum, this step-by-step -step walkthrough will show you how to make the most of this powerful tool. Let's get started. Fulfilling sales orders can be an involved process. The dashboard tab shown on your sales order fulfillment worksheet screen gives you a single place to gain insight and access to all aspects of the process. Step one, open the sales order fulfillment worksheet. Go to the customer's menu at the top of your screen, click on sales order fulfillment worksheet, you can also create a desktop shortcut for quicker access if you use it daily. Step two, understand the dashboard layout. When the worksheet opens, you'll see a dashboard view showing all of your open sales orders. At the top of the dashboard, you can choose specific sections by each stage of your process. All sales orders will display every sales order no matter what stage it's in. This is your open, picked, packed, or shipped. Open sales orders will show sales orders that have not been picked yet. These are orders that still need attention to start the fulfillment process. Pick sales orders will list orders where the items have been picked but have not been packed yet. You can easily move these orders to the next stage, which is packing. Pack sales orders shows orders that have been picked and packed, but haven't been marked as shipped yet. This is perfect for reviewing final packaging and adding shipping information. Shipped orders will display orders that have been fully processed and shipped out to customers. This is a good way to verify completed orders or track shipping status if needed. These buttons allow you to filter and focus on exactly what needs to happen next in your fulfillment process. And notice that their colors match the status colors on the dashboard. The next section of the dashboard gives you multiple ways to filter and narrow down your sales orders. To filter by customer name or sales order number, use the search field located on the left side of the dashboard. You can type part of a customer name or a sales order number. QuickBooks will immediately show only matching orders. I will choose Dunning's Pool Depot. Once I click on the customer, it will bring up all sales orders related to that customer. This is perfect if you're looking for a specific order to pick or ship quickly. Next, let's filter by site location. If you track inventory by multiple sites or warehouses, you can filter orders by site. At the top of the dashboard, select the site dropdown, choose the specific location you want to work with, all sites will list all sites on screen. Multiple shows multiple sales orders with multiple sites on that specific sales order. Unassign will list all sites that need to have a site assigned. Specific site will list all sites and allows you to choose one specific site. This is helpful for larger businesses managing fulfillment across multiple warehouses. Filter by fulfillable status is next to the site dropdown. You'll find the fulfillable status filter. Choose to view fulfillable, which shows everything. No shows not fulfillable orders, which are out of stock. Partial shows partially fulfillable orders. Some items may be back ordered. Yes, this shows orders where everything is available to pick. 
This allows you to prioritize orders that are ready to ship right now. Now let's choose the time frame. Use a date range dropdown at the top next to the fulfillable status filter. Under the all items dropdown, you can filter orders by the last 14 days, last 30 days, last 60 days, or all items. I think they should offer a custom date range to make this feature more powerful. This is a great tool for reviewing older open orders or managing rush orders placed today. Now that we've chosen our filters, let's go through the details section of the sales order fulfillment dashboard. The sales order number shows in the first column. You can click on the number to view the sales order. The date is the sales order date. The customer name and job information shows in the next field. The shipping address lists the city, state, and zip code of the customer shipped to address. The next field lists the number of items to pick and pack. The status field shows what stage the item is in for picking, packing, or ship process. Ship details will show the shipping information if you use the shipping manager within QuickBooks Enterprise. The site lists the site the order is located. The fulfillable status shows whether the order's items are partially or fully in stock. If the status stage is Select Site, you will need to select the site before the status will show for that order. Action is the last column shown in the Details section. Here is where you can choose the next stage of the picking, packing, or shipping process. For faster processing, you can use Batch Actions in the lower left corner to select multiple sales orders and apply a single action to all of them at once. This helps speed up your workflow. This dashboard gives you a real-time view of where every order stands in your fulfillment process. Just make sure you use the refresh button to keep your information up to date from newly entered sales orders or updated orders from the warehouse. One other tip is that the columns are not customizable at this time. Hopefully QuickBooks will change that in the future. Step three, overview of the pick tab layout. Now that we're inside the sales order fulfillment worksheet, let's focus on navigating the pick tab. This tab helps you organize and manage the picking stage of your order fulfillment process, ensuring that you pull the right items from inventory quickly and accurately. The pick tab layout is designed to show you exactly what needs to be picked and where the items are coming from. In the details section, you will see the following columns. The sales order number is listed in the first column and you can click on the number to view the sales order. Under pick list name, the system will use the sales order number with the pick number, which is in numerical sequence. The site section shows where the items are located if you are using multiple inventory sites. Created by shows the user information of who created the pick order. Created on is the date the pick order was created. Items displays the number of items that need to be picked for each sales order. Next is the notes section that will show any notes given to the picker. The status column states whether the order has been sent for picking, partially picked, or complete if it's been picked. 
The action column is where you can view your pick list to review your items or update the pick quantities manually. You can print your pick list to give to your warehouse pickers. You can also print your packing slip once you update your items on the pick list. Hover over any column header to see sorting options. Helpful if you want to sort orders by order number, pick list name, site, customer site, or pick status to name a few. Filtering your view is optional. You can use the filter options across the top of the screen to narrow down the orders you want to work with, such as by pick list or sales order number, by site, or by fulfillable status, by picker. Using filters makes it easier to prioritize orders that are ready to be picked right now. I would set your most common filter combinations and save time by applying them first every time you open the worksheet. QuickBooks will automatically update the sales order status at each step. Step four. Overview of the pack tab layout. Once items are picked, it's time to move to the pack tab in the sales order fulfillment worksheet. This is where you review what was picked, prepare items for shipment, and update packing statuses. The pack tab layout is designed to show you exactly what needs to be picked and where the items are coming from. In the details section, you will see the following columns. The sales order number is listed in the first column, and you can click on the number to view the sales order. Under packing list, the system will use a sales order number with a pack number, which is a numerical sequence. The site section shows where the items are located if you are using multiple inventory sites. The packer column shows the warehouse user's name the sales order was assigned to. Created by shows the user information of who created the pick order. Created on is the date the pick order was created. Items displays the number of items that need to be picked for each sales order. Next is the All Notes section that will show any notes given to the packer. The Status column states whether the order has been sent for packing, partially packed, or complete if it's been packed. The Action column is where you can view your packing list to review your items and update the packed quantities manually. You can print your packing slip for them to add to the shipment. You can also print your packing slip once you update your items on the packing list. You can hover over any column header to see sorting options. This is helpful if you want to sort orders by order number, packing list name, site, customer site, or pack status to name a few. Filtering your view is optional. You can use the filter options across the top of the screen to narrow down the orders you want to work with, such as by pack list or sales order number, by fulfillable status, by packer. Using filters makes it easier to prioritize orders that are ready to be packed right now. Again, set your most common filter combinations and save time by applying them first every time you open your worksheet. QuickBooks will automatically update the sales order status with each step. Step five, overview of the pick pack tab layout. Let's say your team handles both the picking and packing in one place. You would want to use the Express Pick Pack feature where both steps are consolidated into one. 
QuickBooks added this option when our customers said that their picking and packing was done at the same time. And having the tasks separated into picking, then packing, cost everyone double the work. Once you have sent an order to the warehouse for Express Pick Pack, it will show in the Express Pick Pack tab within Sales Order Fulfillment. The Express Pick Pack tab layout is designed to manage the picking and packing process. This is where you can review the items in the list, update packed quantities manually, and add package dimensions to your sales order. Along with that, you can print your packing slip. In the details section, you will see the following columns. The sales order number is listed in the first column. And you guessed it, you can click on the number to view the sales order for more details. Under Express Pick Pack List, the system will use the sales order number with an Express Pick Pack number, which is in numerical sequence. The site section shows where the items are located if you are using multiple inventory sites. The packer column shows the warehouse user's name the sales order was assigned to. Created by shows the user information of who created the pick order. Created on is the date the pick order was created. Items will display the number of items that need to be picked for each sales order. Next is the All Notes section that will show any notes given to the packer. The Status column states whether the order has been sent for packing, partially packed, or complete if it's been packed. The Action column is where you can view your packing list to review your items and update the packed quantities manually along with package dimensions for shipping. You can print your packing slip for them to add to the shipment. You can hover over any column header to see sorting options. This is helpful if you want to sort orders by order number, packing list name, site, customer site, or pack status to name a few. Filtering your view is optional but helpful. You can use the filter options across the top of the screen to narrow down the orders you want to work with, such as by express pick pack list or sales order number, by site location, by fulfillable status, or by packer. Using filters makes it easier to prioritize orders that are ready to be picked and packed right now. One last time, set your most common filter combinations and save time by applying them first every time you open the worksheet. QuickBooks will automatically update the sales order status at each step. Follow along with the next video to learn how to use the pick and pack process. And that wraps up our deep dive into the sales order fulfillment worksheet. With this feature, your warehouse team and accounting department can stay in sync, eliminating duplicate data entry and delivering real-time order status for faster billing. If you'd like a complimentary 30-minute review of your QuickBooks setup to identify more ways to save time and improve accuracy, click the link below to schedule your consultation. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial helped you, please hit like, share with your network, and subscribe for more QuickBooks Enterprise tips and training. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you.